Hey you guys, it's Marauder again with another video and I wanted to approach a serious issue with all of you. I've noticed a disease going around and this disease is called douchebaggery. Now not all guys suffer from douchebaggery, but me and a lot of other models have suffered from men who are suffering from douchebaggery. So I wanted to go ahead and clear up some symptoms with you in case some of you guys feel that you may be catching on to the disease. Now, first of all, I wanted you guys to know that when girls post nude photos of themselves online, we know that we're posting nude photos of ourselves online. We are quite aware that we are modeling nude. And a lot of us, we get paid to do that. We are quite aware that we like to be artsy and get naked and cover ourselves in paint sometimes. And yes, we like to look sexy in front of the camera. Now, I've noticed that this has been a cause of douchebaggery in the past, and that's why I decided I'd go ahead and try and situate this with you all. So, first of all, you may realize that you're suffering from douchebaggery if you feel the need to comment on girls' photos, whether they're nude or not, or even their Facebook statuses for that matter, with stupid, childish comments. Now these comments are included with but not limited to things such as we want more vagina I would fuck that bitch I would like to stick my dick in that bitch's ass so deep that it would take King Arthur to get it out anyway so those are just a few examples of things I've seen and I understand that when you see new models online sometimes you want to comment things and sometimes these things are inappropriate and I understand that sometimes this can lead to inappropriate thoughts. But I don't think your mother's taught you to keep inappropriate thoughts to yourself. So when you're out in public and you see a girl, do you just walk up to her and be like, Man, I would stick my dick in your vagina so hard, man. My dick's huge. Do you want to see a picture of it? No. No, I'm pretty sure you'd probably be arrested because, believe it or not, not every girl wants to see your tiny dick. We understand that you have a pinky dick. We are quite aware because you wouldn't act like a douchebag if you didn't. And one symptom of douchebaggery is a tiny dick. Now, I've had a lot of guys who've decided to leave these douchebaggery comments on my photos and on my Facebook page, which is stupid shit, and those guys usually get blocked. But then I started noticing other models suffering from the same thing. And that just really fucking pisses me off. Because that's not okay. Because that is the equivalent of sexual harassment. You are using internet sexual harassment. You are such a lame ass that you are too much of a pussy to sexually harass a girl in real life. So you have to sexually harass her over the internet. That's pretty pathetic, bro. I'm sorry. You suffer from douchebaggery. Anyway. So. The thing is. We are aware that when girls pose nude, sometimes guys are going to say inappropriate things, but there are times and places for that, and there's usually websites for that too. And just because a girl models nude doesn't make her a slut, doesn't mean she wants to see pictures of your dick. Honestly, no one wants to see pictures of your dick. It's probably gross and moldy and hairy, and you probably don't know how to use a razor. No one wants to see that. That's disgusting. I just, I feel like you guys just don't really understand how to treat a lady. Maybe your mommy didn't hug you enough when you were little. Maybe you've just never been laid. Maybe you have no idea what tits look like. There could be a lot of causes for douchebaggery. But it doesn't make it okay. The thing is, you can't just go and talk to a girl however you want. You have to show all women respect. Whether or not she poses nude online or not. Yes, there are sluts in this world. But guess what? I pose nude online and I don't sleep around. I have a lot of friends who pose nude online, and they don't sleep around. I have friends who pose nude online and don't have sex at all. This doesn't make you a slut. It doesn't make you want to fuck every guy who messages you on Facebook or MSN or whatever you kids are using these days to message each other. Like, that's not how you get women. How you get women is treating them with respect and maybe opening a few doors for them, get them some flowers, you know, take them to a nice date, and then maybe they'll sleep with you if you don't make a total douchebag out of yourself. But chances are, if you suffer from douchebaggery, you will probably make a douchebag out of yourself and you will never get laid. So, I just, you know, I don't really know how to say this without coming off as a complete fucking bitch. 
But you guys are assholes and we don't want you as fans. We do not want you on our pages. We do not want you looking at our photos because we think you suck. That's it. Bottom line. We think you suck. We don't care. Like, I have a lot of male fans. I have over thousands of male fans who are so nice and respectful and kind-hearted. And when they see a picture of me posing nude, they actually compliment on the figure. They compliment on the actual art of it. And they don't just go, oh, I like your tits, baby. Those are, those are hot. You know, soak on them. Like, when is that appropriate? Like, even online. Like, <laughs> how is that appropriate? Are you a fucking idiot? Like, I just... I don't understand and that's why I wanted to alert you guys about this disease that's going around because I think it must be a disease because no one was born that stupid, right? Like this has to be some infectious disease caught from fucking too many sluts or something like too much tan, like fake tan, I don't, I don't know, something like that. Did you get those bleached tips in your hair and those maybe damaged your brain? Is there something going on here we need to talk about? Basically, you can't defend these actions. You can't. I'm sorry. You can sit there and be like, well, you pose nude, and so you had this coming. You should expect shit like that. What do you expect when you pose nude online? What we expect is we expect respect, man. That's all we want. That's all we're asking for is for you to respect us and respect the fact that we aren't some Google image that you're jerking off to. We're actual people. You actually communicate with us. We communicate back, and we communicate back that you are suffering from douchebaggery. It's just fucked up. Like... You are the same type of guys who are like, oh, hey, that girl's skirt is so short, I'm going to rape her. So let me just go ahead and clarify this for you guys, for the guys who are suffering from douchebaggery. A short skirt doesn't mean a girl wants to fuck you. Naked pictures online doesn't mean a girl wants to fuck you. A girl pass out drunk at a party doesn't mean she wants to fuck you. That is all sexual harassment and or rape. That's bottom line. You are either a rapist or a sexual harassment panda. Totally. Except not the cool one from South Park. I just wanted to use panda. Because you might be a panda. Well, I don't know. I've never had a comment from a panda. I think they're probably more respectful than some of you guys really shouldn't have insulted the pandas. I apologize, pandas. Anyway, you guys, like, seriously, all we ask for is for you to respect us. We post nude photos online, but we get paid to do these jobs. You know, this is how us models make ends meet. That's how I pay my fucking bills, man. I pay my bills by getting naked. That's how Betty Page paid her fucking bills. And you don't see people commenting on her pictures from back in the day like, Oh, I fucked that bitch up. Man, I'll shove my dick in that. Because people used to have respect for each other, and now they apparently don't. And that's not okay. There's no reason for you to assume that women don't deserve respect. I just... I don't understand where you're coming from, and if you'd like to explain it, that might be great, but I'd appreciate a better explanation than, well, you post naked pictures online, so you should expect this. No, you suffer from douchebaggery. That's it. You suck, man. You fucking suck. Get off my Facebook page. Get off my YouTube. Get off my Twitter. I don't want you on there if you're that big of a douchebag, bottom line. Just because I pose no online doesn't make me less of a person. You know, I have friends, I have family, I have a boyfriend. Nobody wants to hear that shit. People don't want to go on my Facebook page and see some douchebag with his tiny little penis going, Oh, hey, I've got a tiny dick, but I'd love for you to suck because you have naked pictures online. Like, no, bro. Post, like, pictures on freaking Facebook, like, those aren't even nude, man. Those are, like, in lingerie and shit at most, and you're still going to make stupid little comments? Like, all that does is make you look like a fucking animal. Less than an animal, because at least animals can control themselves. Like, are you so mindless that you honestly can't control your own actions? That is a symptom of douchebaggery. Now, I just wanted to go ahead and raise awareness for douchebaggery. Because I think you guys really need to watch out and not catch this disease. Because a lot of you are super rad, and I'd be really sad to hear that you suffer from douchebaggery. Anyways, I just wanted to raise awareness and let you guys know that we don't want pictures of your stupid fucking penises anymore. We don't want pictures of your tiny dicks. Don't send them to me on Facebook. Don't send them to me on Twitter. Don't send them to me on Tumblr. Don't want them. I don't want pictures of your dick. That's it. I don't want your stupid comments. Don't want pictures. No girl does. No model does. Just because we model doesn't mean we want you. Sorry, man. We can do a lot better. I promise. Anyway, that's your video for the day. Raising awareness on douchebaggery. I hope you can, you too can raise awareness on douchebaggery. 
and we hopefully we can stop this disease before it spreads too far. Thanks!